good day, you are welcome to Pastor Kumui's testimonies and stories. Can I give you a little testimony? Pastor Kumui's testimonies and stories. In today's testimony, Pastor Kumui will be sharing with us how a man wanted to lay hands on him and you will see Pastor Kumui's reaction. The second possibility, deeds without grace. That a person has the power, so to say, and the gift, so to say, but the fruit of the Spirit is not there. What's that going to lead to? Perdition. Perdition. Indignity. Gifts without grace. The charisma without character. And the gifts of the Spirit, working miracles here and there, and yet with no grace of God. And there was a challenge, you know, in the earlier days. Even though Deeper Life had started, this is the one I want to mention now. But I was still asked had enough time to go to this ministry, that ministry here and there, and preach all about. And I was a man that, you know, we were actually doing, we were really preaching together. Not that we are the I'll be invited, he will be invited. And I'm telling you some great, great, mighty things that happened at that time. And uh, then eventually I discovered the gift was in this man. This other man I'm talking about now. The gift of the spirit. But the character was missing. And eventually it was uh, coming to Lagos here. And the people in Lagos who knew me said, please, will you stay on the platform? So and so is coming so that you'll be able to support him in me. So I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. Because I had some stories about him. And they pleaded with me. They said, please, please. If it's not because of it, because of us. Because you are here in Lagos. And people know you're here in Lagos. You must be there. You must sit on the platform. Eventually, I, I agreed. I, I sat on the platform. And he came. And this man is no more alive now. This man can talk. And in reality, I was just looking at him. And then, he, when he finished, he wanted to demonstrate to the people about the gifts of the Spirit. And he turned to me and think about you. You are before the congregation and you are preaching about the Holy Ghost and about power, about transpiring that spirit of God and you know praying for people. He said he was going to lay hands on them. And then he turned to me. I was you know sitting by the right hand side and he called my name and he said, you know, please uh, uh, let me show the people what I mean. I said, what do you mean? Let me lay hands on. Them. I said, not me. And then he said, don't do like that. I said, I'm sorry. I still have something to discuss with you after the meeting. And we talk, I think it took about five minutes when he saw that I wasn't yielding. Then he turned to me, okay, well, he doesn't want me to lay hands on him. And then, but you come here, I lay hands on you. He laid hands on them and, you know, did all these, all the things he wanted to do. When he finished, I called him out. I said, uh, I've been wanting to talk to you. All this demonstration and this, but now, listen. When you have the gifts of the Spirit, it doesn't only give you revelation, it gives you the courage to pass on the revelation. I said, I look at him directly, and I said, see all these things you are doing in the public. I hear that you have illegitimate child, you are living in adultery. And be because of the way I said it, I was so pointed, you know, he didn't argue. He just said, you know, they are not praying for me. Uh, that is why my witness took hold of me. I said, well, if you are manifesting all this, if you are power by the devil, why don't you have power by your flesh? And you see, that kind of thing, having gifts without grace, will bring you into perdition, indignity. And then, number three, the third possibility is grace with gifts. Gifts with grace. That will bring productivity. That will bring increase. And that's why we're here. That the Lord will use us and grant us both charisma and character. The gifts of the Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit must work together. That is charisma and character. Must work together to produce a rewardable exploit. It is not all exploits that are rewardable. Because it's when you get to heaven that you'll get the reward. And you'll notice, by the way, there are nine gifts of the Spirit. There are nine fruits of the Spirit. That is, nine components in the fruit of the Spirit. And it's when the nine fold fruit. 
will join together with the nine areas or branches of the Jews that we are going to produce something, exploit, that will be rewardable. The saturation of the minister's life with the fruit of the Spirit will sharpen the gift of the Spirit in his life and it will make him powerful to penetrate and to produce results. The combination of the grace and the gifts will produce growth. There will be growth, there will be glory in that ministry. So I believe you have been inspired by that story. See you in the next episode of Pastor Kumuyi's Testimonies and Stories. Remain rapturable. God bless you. Pastor Kumuyi's Testimonies and Stories.